Hello, I'm Joe Wren. Indiana University trustees announced today that they will not privatize parking operations on the university's Bloomington and Indianapolis campuses. IU CFO says the money the university could have received from a lease was not enough to justify losing control of parking operations for 50 years. We are under our peer medium. When we look at our peer campuses that I talked about, we are under the peers for those. The trustees say they will instead pursue an internal business plan to increase efficiency and revenue to be complete by February. The formerly contaminated site of a coke and carbon plant in Terre Haute will be cleaned up ahead of schedule and under budget. A consultant for the company in charge of project says 90 to 95 percent of the contaminated soil has been removed and cleanup is, is, is expected to be completed by November 15th. Terre Haute residents have expressed concerns about contaminants being spread outside of the property as the soil is removed, but the contractor says workers have been careful to implement environmental and safety controls. And Indiana is poised to lose more than $60 million it was supposed to get from a landmark tobacco settlement in the 1990s. More than 40 other tobacco companies have since joined the settlement, and part of the settlement requires states to ensure those companies are paying the correct amounts into escrow. An arbitrator last month ruled Indiana is one of six states that failed to adequately do so. The money was supposed to be used for health programs across the state. And now a quick check of the weather forecast for tonight. Mostly clear, lows down to 40 degrees. Then a 40% chance of showers tomorrow. Daytime highs reaching into the mid-60s. And then a wet five-day forecast on Saturday. Mostly cloudy, a 40% chance of showers. Up to 59 on Sunday, 64 degrees by Monday. For WTIU News, I'm Joe Wren.